have a quick look at what we've been talking about the last few videos. So we had Facebook earnings out today. Um, and actually, interestingly, it, it gapped up quite a lot, but then it's pulled right back. And that's always really curious to me. I like to see what's going to happen uh, after we've had that. Basically, it's just been a one-way street. Since the open, it's just been sell-off, sell-off, sell-off. After the initial spike up uh, uh, after hours to 134, it's just drifted back off and off. Now, normally, if I saw that and the and the daily chart was in a downtrend, I would con I would think it's a great shorting opportunity because it's just undone all the work that it did pre-market and it's unwinding. But as Facebook is such a strong chart, you know what? I'm st you've got to be still bullish on on Facebook um, just because of the strength of the chart. So um, it's interesting. It's good to know. Interesting to watch, but I can't see a trade from that just yet. Maybe in a few days, if it goes a bit lower, or we'll find some support, there'll be an opportunity. But it's on the watch list, uh, but nothing good doing for me at the moment. What's interesting is we got a trade on the DAX today. Um, we talked about this in a couple of videos ago. Push up to that really key level, and then the enter straight back through. So exactly what happened really we talked about in a pair trade with the dow but the dow didn't hasn't tagged the 20 period yet but the dax has done what we hoped it would do which is up to that really key level look on the hourly chart uh, a little ping through come back under it's a ramp straight away in the morning ramped right back up and then it just came straight back down and the risk wasn't really that much uh, and then it just drove down lower and lower and lower and uh, found some support as you would expect at the prior support a prior low from yesterday wick through uh late in the afternoon and there was the opportunity so uh, nothing crazy it's not it's not a home run but uh that's showing us that that level that we marked out before is still in play so how many trades can we get off that let's see um uh, looking at the dow very quickly uh, on the daily, we still haven't quite tagged that 20 period, but we're not far off it. We're pulling back to that support. So that is on my watch list. I'm keeping an eye on that. We shall see what happens. The final one I want to just look through is into properties. We talked about this. We talked about Crispin Odi, big final man manager being short. Um, and was it going to sell off uh, after earnings? Earnings was today. In actual fact, you know, I haven't looked at the earnings or I'm looking at the chart. Obviously, they've ramped up, but they've undo the ramp a little bit. This is more exciting than Facebook to me. I think if we can't get back above three, or if we get above three uh, and then roll back over again, it may be a short. I mean, chart-wise, it's still choppy, but it, you know, you've got to look at it from a perspective of what it's been doing. It's been rallying, then selling off, rallying, then selling off. That has been the, the, the historical movement of this chart for the past year or so. You know, good rally, a sell-off. Every rally, sell-off. So it's a, a cyclical type of chart. So I, I, you know, I feel more comfortable selling the top of a of a good move for a counter trend, for a mean reversion type trade back to a moving average type of thing. Um, but let's just see. It's not. I don't think it's triggering just yet. But I'm definitely going to keep my eye on that. So that's the UK stock into properties, and it just brought to my attention purely because uh, fund manager's got a large short position. So you would assume he's done fundamental research which supports that so now we just need a technical signal to combine with that and give us an extra layer of edge so uh loads of stuff going on loads of things to look at starting to build a little bit of a watch list a little bit of a, a scan a few things going on nothing quite setting up perfectly yet but i've got a few levels to work off so we'll see what happens tomorrow take care guys same time same place tomorrow evening have a great trading day